Well, the COVID-19 pandemic has had a devastating impact on education for students pretty much around the world. Pinar Sevenschlitter looks at the obstacles facing students in Turkey and what could happen if they don't go back to school soon. It's a steep climb. But 20-year-old Bekir is used to it. He comes to sit on the same rock a few times a week to check his university coursework. This is the only place in his small village in the southeast of Turkey where Bekir can get internet access. Those who can't face the uphill climb scale the roof of the village mosque to try to get reception. Like sisters Medina and Melike, they haven't attended any classes since March when coronavirus was first detected in Turkey. Even in normal times, students from villages like this had to work harder than their peers to secure a future. But now the pandemic has made the prospects of that future even more distant. Remote learning started after the pandemic swept Turkey, forcing the closure of schools. But education unions say 4 million Turkish students don't have access to computers or the internet. Professor Anna Vignoz says that developing countries face the greatest challenge. In uh, low-income countries in particular, they are suffering particularly badly. Um, and there are lots of reasons for that. If you take the school sector, online learning is much harder because obviously people, uh, you know, children don't have computers at home to learn with. 15-year-old Erhan is one of them. He lives with his mom and sister in one room. The pandemic has pushed his family further into poverty. Erhan now wants to quit school to help provide for his family. Volunteers like Hajar Foggo are trying to reach out to kids like Erhan and give them the tools they need to stay in education. Erhan, now he can continue his lesson. Uh, because if not, you know, he will start to work the daily working. And maybe his child, maybe his child, and then it's, this is, poverty will be uh, continue, never ever finished. But this is a global crisis. Since the pandemic hit, at least one third of the world's students have been deprived of any form of learning and the UN estimates almost 24 million students worldwide may drop out of school or not have access to it next year. Obviously, Professor Anna Vignoz. And we're thinking that they're going to have a, a, a loss of learning that will be very hard to come back from unless we make a really conscious decision to invest more in them. But they're also going to experience this difficult transition into the labour market. Erhan is now back to studying. But not everyone is so lucky. Punar Sevinçlidir, CBS News, Istanbul.